mum who worked for the NHS killed herself after struggling to cope with COVID restrictions, work, and child care, an inquest heard. Sophie Cross, 35, was described as a loving mother of two, but suffered from the breakdown of relationships and financial woes amid the pandemic, before her death in 2021. Sophie Cross, 35, took her own life in 2021. An inquest heard that she had struggled with financial issues and the breakup of relationships credit, WNS. Her father Darren said that she had also battled postnatal depression following the birth of her first child and was struggling with COVID restrictions as well as work and child care when the pandemic hit. The alarm was raised after he ex-partner received no response when he went to her door in Cardiff, Wales in July 2021. The inquest in Pontypridd, Wales heard that PC Marie's arrived and spotted two pieces of paper as he looked through the kitchen window. PC Rees said that it was clear that these were suicide notes, while another on the landing read, Don't come in. Call the police. An examination of her phone and iPad revealed that she may have been having financial issues. Darren added that Sophie had previously attempted suicide in January that year and had been referred to a crisis mental health team. Every 90 minutes in the UK a life is lost to suicide. It doesn't discriminate touching the lives of people in every corner of society, from the homeless and unemployed to builders and doctors, reality stars, and footballers. It's the biggest killer of people under the age of 35, more deadly than cancer and car crashes. And men are three times more likely to take their own life than women. Yet it's rarely spoken of, a taboo that threatens to continue its deadly rampage unless we all stop and take notice, now. That is why The Sun launched the You're Not Alone campaign. The aim is that by sharing practical advice, raising awareness, and breaking down the barriers people face when talking about their mental health, we can all do our bit to help save lives. Let's all vow to ask for help when we need it, and listen out for others. You're not alone. If you, or anyone you know, needs help dealing with mental health problems, the following organizations provide support. The inquest heard that she had told a psychiatrist that she was angry about the breakup of a recent relationship. She had also said she was having difficulty with her finances and disruption to her kids' routine. Sophie attended follow-up appointments before being discharged. Corner Rachel Knight record a verdict of suicide. She said, It is clear that she was very loved and I'm so sorry that the family have lost her in this way. A fundraising page has received over £7,000 of donations. Donna Follett, who set up the page, wrote, Sadly we lost our beautiful Sophie too soon. Anyone who knew Sophie knew how much she cared for and looked after others. She was always a good friend to anyone she met and would do anything for anyone. Most importantly Sophie was the most amazing mother to her two beautiful children. She had previously been referred to a mental health crisis team after an earlier suicide attempt.